And as we said, using a calculator to do division is by far the most common approach, so you need to know how to do that. Um, you might have a different calculator than this one here. This is a TI-83+. plus. It's a pretty common one in math classes. Uh, a, a, any calculator is sufficient, though. Every calculator you buy is capable of doing division and usually a whole lot more. Uh, so whichever calculator you have, just make sure you know how to use that one. Our first problem is 357 divided by 17. So you just type in 357 divided by 17, and the answer comes out to be 21. So I'll fill that in. Pretty easy. 357 divided by 0. Watch what happens here. I'll clear this. I type 357 divided by 0, and I hit Enter. This gives me an error. You say it says, you see there, error divide by 0. So I'll just hit 1 to quit, and I'll hit Clear. So in the notes there, 357 divided by 0. Um, if you want to, you can write error. Or you could write undefined, indicating to the reader that division by 0 is undefined. If I do 0 divided by 20, 0 divided by 20, and hit Enter, I get 0. That's because 0 divided by anything is 0. And this last one, 50 divided by 7. If I do 50 divided by 7 and hit Enter, look at that answer. 7.1428571413. I'll write that in the notes. 7.1428571413. Note that uh, when there's a remainder, which is the case here, the calculator expresses it as a decimal. And in this particular case, these digits would actually continue on. The calculator is only capable of displaying so many digits. So these digits would continue uh, infinitely. So the last digit ends up being rounded. And again, we'll talk about decimal numbers more later on. I just know that the remainder on your calculator is typically expressed as a decimal. Some calculators, you can set them to express the remainder as a fraction. But it's, it's uh, most common to have it expressed as a decimal.